hey what's up so we are uh, in process of building something like this uh, website uh, so where we have created uh, in last couple of videos we have created our API needed for this so that we can create uh, these all boards and uh, the cards inside these boards uh, list inside these boards uh, like these are lists and these are cards so API part is already done uh, uh, now from this video onward we'll uh, create this front end and we'll consume that API uh, that we built so uh, in this video let's start by uh, setting up our view project so for that uh, you'll need uh, node.js so uh, you might check if that is already installed in your system by typing npm dash v so if you get something like this uh, version you have already installed so uh, you can download from here if you haven't all right so next step is to install uh, view cli so if you search for view cli and you need to install it uh, globally so so if you are new uh, uh, if you don't know what view cli is it is just uh, the tool to create our view project so it will provide us all necessary tools to make uh, our project so you can read more about it here okay after that is installed uh, you can check if that is installed by typing uh, view s version so you should see a uh, version number if you uh, get some error you have to add that on your system path so just right click on start menu and go to system and advanced system setting environment variables so here uh, in path uh, click on that and edit and you need to add this path so wherever your user is so this will be your username and app data roaming npm so you need to add this path so you can create new and then copy and paste this okay so after that after that we are good to uh, install our project template so you can install by uh, view init and template name and your project name so there are a couple of templates so webpack webpack uh, simple so these different packages have uh, different um, features so yeah you can do that but uh, in this project uh, what we are going to use uh, is Beautify. So it is uh, like a library of uh, components that has a material theme on it. So we'll use that uh, and let's let's go to documentation. So basically that is uh, just like uh, doing this but it will provide us extra templates uh, out of the box. So let's go to install section. So here so uh, there are a uh, couple of templates just like uh, this view CLI and you can check this but we'll install uh, webpack advanced so yeah copy it and I will just so uh, this is the template name and we'll give our project name Pablo so it will ask uh, you some questions like project name we want to keep this and let's give a name our uh, description uh, task management author is good and you can use any of these so i'll use this lighter one so you want to install view router yes Yes, lint no, no, uh, night was no, yeah. So, uh, it is, uh, it installs a uh, template. So, let's see into that and as you can see, we got these files. Let's open if uh, open it in sublime. Okay, so so basically we will be working on our 
source folder so here you can see there are uh, some default templates and other stuff that we install uh, just installed all right so this is just uh, boilerplate we need to install all the packages inside package.json so in order to do that so it it already provides you some information so you do into that npm install and then run dev so let's do that so npm install so it will install all of these packages all right once that is done you can run uh, npm run dev so basically it will start a web server okay so it will automatically open uh, this url so as you can see uh, we get some boilerplate by default so this is the navbar all of stuff so let's see uh, this file so inside source that file is app.view so here you can see all of these components beautify components uh, these are responsible for creating this beautiful design so we can build uh, on top of this uh, or we can build it from scratch okay so uh, let's make some change in this app file just to test uh, if things are working so uh, let's let's change uh, this uh, this title so let's you can see that inside so basically uh, all the data are pulling from this data function so let's change this title to our project name and as soon as you save it will automatically update without refreshing yes okay okay so uh, you don't need to reload it so in uh, so from next video we'll uh, build our uh, front-end part and we'll consume the API we built a couple of videos ago all right see you in the next video